Hey y'all, welcome to Unboxing Discovery by G. My name is Gina, and you know what month it is? It is October, so we get to wear fun stuff on our face, and it's perfectly okay. I actually left the house in my um, cat ears the other day, and no one thought twice about it. Wore it right to Bible study, didn't even think about it. <laughs> So, yes, happy Halloween, happy month of October, where the fall colors are abundant and beautiful. And, yeah, we are going to do an Amazon personal shopper today. So, clothing, yay! Um, uh, most all links below will be affiliate links because I am affiliated with Amazon. That just credits me like a sales lady. It doesn't give me any of your information, but I do appreciate it if you use my links. Y'all missed the funniest thing. I mean, so I knew Callie was standing right here because I have the window cracked. It's about 60 degrees here. So it's a nice cool breeze coming in to the girl who's been having hot flashes all night long. Well, she had her nose out the window and I thought she was completely on the windowsill. Well, what did I do? I go and turn my chair. And when I did, apparently she had her foot on the chair and she just went flying it was just in slow-mo the cat going sideways she knocked all this over she was hanging on sideways right here for dear life it was hilarious <laughs> and then i had to apologize to her <laughs> and say i'm sorry i didn't know you had all your weight on the chair oh my goodness it was so funny it was one of those you know funniest video kind of moments if you could have only caught it on camera and of course i did not have the camera on at that point in time you know, as much as I film, and I miss all the fun stuff. Anyway, so Amazon Personal Shopper. Let me give you some information about that. Now, this is a program that is available to me because I am a Prime member. So, if you are a Prime member, if you pay, play, play, if you pay for the yearly Prime to get the two-day shipping and all the great perks, this is one of the perks that you can get. Now, the personal shopper one actually costs an extra $4.99 a month, which I think is very reasonable. They pick you out several different pieces. They put them into outfits, and they say, hey, which ones do you want? Then you can pick eight out of those. They send them to you. You have seven days to try all that stuff on, see what you like, what you want to keep, what you want to send back, what you might want to exchange for a different size or a different color. Because, you know, Amazon, they got a lot of stuff. So, I have my eight pieces. I don't remember what I got, but I did pull up my pictures so I could look through and see what the stylist note said. Y'all, this box is humongous. Humongous. Let me see if I can beat up. Ooh. Okay. Yeah, it's, it's, it's big. It's big. It's a big box. Oh, I almost knocked them. I'm a scarecrow back here. Okay, I'm tired now. <laughs> anyway, um, while you're on Amazon, don't forget to check out all the other fun things that you have um, available to you, like Audible, Amazon Music. Um, if you haven't tried Prime, I have a link below that will give you 30 days free to try it out and see if you like it. Of course, you know, Amazon, you can find about everything under the sun on there. There's Amazon video. I watch the video. I watch so much stuff on there. I love the Amazon video. You've got subscribe and save where your household stuff will come to you automatically. However often you want it, once a month, every four months, every couple weeks, whatever. That's where I get most of my kitties' food. It's just automatically delivered to me and I don't have to worry about it. Dry shampoo, all kinds of the stuff that you use on a regular basis. Q-tips, lotions, it's lovely. I will put links below for all of that stuff if you want to try any of that. And let's read this stylist note. Let's start with that. It says, hi there, welcome back. Your fall lookbook has arrived. Curating this collection, I pulled everyday looks into fall tones. Check out this Cozy Max Studio sweater. I am loving the V-neck and waffle knit texture. I can see this styled casually with, dream, with jeans or dressed up with a skirt. Speaking of jeans, if you're on the hunt for a new pair this season, I'd recommend this pair by Jag Jeans. You've liked their shorts in the past and I know you'll like these jeans. 
I sent you a dark wash option you'll be able to style over and over this fall. There's so much more to dig into. Don't forget, you can try eight items for free. How do you like this new collection, Brianna? And then it has the pictures. I'll put the pictures over here of what she suggested, how she suggested I wear them, even on the stuff that I did not pick to be sent to me, it's just so you can see it. Well, hello, Miss Kelly Cat. What are you doing? You want to say hi? You say hi? She's just doing her head, her head thing. Whew, that hurt my neck. My gracious. I'm not as young as I used to be, Kitty. No, I'm not. I'm not as young as I used to be. All right. Let's just go into the box because I feel like I'm so, so, so silly today. So, 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 so silly. Maybe it's the stuff on my face. <laughs> Y'all, I was putting it on and I couldn't find these two for this side I, I was i was looked all over my vanity i was like i haven't gotten up where could it go and i was like oh i must have picked it up and thrown it away with the pieces of paper that went with these well i had so i got them well this one was wet and so it would not reapply to my face so i'm off centered so i took a little gold liner thing i had and tried to draw it on it didn't work just right so if y'all are noticing the um unevenness i apologize i tried my best and I tried to find a headband or something to go with it. I just couldn't today. This is as dressed up as I'm going to get for for the Halloween. I'm trying to do a bunch of different outfits without buying costumes this year. I bought some things to be a costume, but they weren't actually costume. It, well, except for one hat. But, you know, trying to do it more on a budget. So stuff I already had around. Like these stickers I had around because I bought a pack for last year. So, I'm trying to be fun on a budget. It, it can be done. It can be done. I'm not going to pick this box up and show you what it looks like inside because, wow, heavy and cumbersome. But everything is individually wrapped in this box. So I will take it all out. I will take all the pieces out. And maybe Miss Callie Cat will let me put them on the table. Um, oh, that made Bonnie jump. She was walking this way. I just vacuumed that floor and you're pulling stuff onto it. Oh my goodness, Cat. She found something. I guess I missed it. It was under the bed or something. You know how that is. Every time you vacuum, there's always something going to get in the floor right after. It never fell. While y'all are waiting on me to get my head together, I would love it if you would... Press all those lovely YouTube buttons. Please subscribe to my channel. Subscribing to my channel is absolutely free. and It means the world to me. I so appreciate y'all so very much. Don't forget to share with your friends. Tell them about the channel. Give this video a thumbs up. Press the notification bell. And if you want to donate to the creator or her kitties, there are two ways to do that. You can press the super thanks, which is like leaving a tip through YouTube. Or you can buy me a coffee. There's a link below for that. It's also like leaving a tip. Thank you so very much. All proceeds are going to go to the new studio. So I'll see you back in a second. All right. So I got everything precariously stacked over here. Callie wants to jump in this big box so bad. But Bonnie's kind of walking around and she always gets nervous of that. So we're just going to keep, we're going to look at everything. And with this cat teeter tattering on my leg and that cat over there. She's trying to decide if she's going to get in trouble or not. You know, so Blowfish Malibu. I remember that there was something Blowfish. I didn't remember what it was. Apparently, it is like a boot. I love my Blowfish tennis shoes that I have that I got from Amazon. So let's see what these are. Blowfish Malibu, Women's Redson Ankle Boot, Black Local Sheriff. They're a size seven and a half. Don't you rub on them clothes. They are $38.05. Let's look at them. Cat, I'm about to push you in the box. Thank you. All right. So, here they are. Local Sheriff. That does look like Local Sheriff Tread, doesn't it? Cute little boots. I don't know that I love love them though. Oh, they do have a zip. I didn't know they had a zip on there. I thought it was just the stretchy stuff on each side. 
but they do have a boot. Oh, they feel nice on the inside. A little foamy action there. Not super padded, but good padded. This is what I don't know if I love about it is that little bit of a wrinkle. I don't know how I'll feel about those. These are vegan leather, by the way. Oh, it's got a double zip on it. <laughs> Both sides. That's cool. So it's got this little inch piece of leather that comes down in the back where it's unzipped so you can get in the shoe easier. That's super neat. Sometimes these shoes are hard to get into. I will give them that. And the little zip pulls have a cute little detail on it. Nice way to get a good grip. These are actually kind of cute. I'm kind of digging them. With the blowfish Malibu tin thing on the bottom. Very cute. All right. Not bad, and I think a good price. So, yay for that. The next are these Jessica Simpson. These are Jessica Simpson. Jessica Simpson. <laughs> Jessica Simpson women's Mandace flat ballet. I know I'm saying that wrong. M A N D A Y S S flat ballet in Cheyenne, seven and a half, thirty six dollars and fifty cents. I like a ballet. I just, and I've got three or four pair that I love. I just don't reach for them very much. But this is what caught me on these, was this little elastic crisscross strap that really made you feel more ballerina-esque. Looks like it might show some toe cleavage down here because it is pretty low, but very nice kind of faux suede feeling. You know I love a faux suede. I could see this being a cute little shoot with certain outfits. So, very cute. I don't know if it's going to work for me because you know I have a thin foot for whatever reason. That's, yeah, I just have a thin foot. So not everything works for me that's, you know, like slip on and things like that. Boots, I can make it work better because I'm putting a sock on with them most of the time. All right, so here we have, I guess this is a dress. Yeah, okay. Here's the top. This is BTFBM. It is extra large. I wonder what that stands for. Belong to Fashion Beauty Merriness. Okay, so it feels like the top has the smocking all the way through. It has a sheer lung sleeve. Sheer is very in for the fall. It's very popular right now. Um, tiered skirt. It does have a layer down below. Kind of has a... Oh, what is this print? I want to call it a cheetah print, but it's not exactly. Ooh, look at that. Silky feeling skirt underneath it. It's a little brighter of a color than I thought I was expecting. Underneath it, this um, kind of like burnt orange, I think you would call it. Let's see what this says. Women's casual long sleeve crew neck. All right, you pop up here, but just leave her alone. Come on. That's a good girl. Keep going. Trying to keep the cats from fighting. Come on, B. You want to come over here where the window's open? Miss Bonnie Faye, everyone. She doesn't say hello. <laughs> um, women's casual long sleeve crew neck fall dress bohemian relaxed fit floral flowy maxi dress tiered cocktail dress $38.99. I am sure it is polyester. But it is a crew neck. I don't know why I picked a crew neck. You know, I normally don't pick crew necks. I don't remember there just being a lot of stuff I was in love with on this one. It is 100% polyester, the lining and the shell. It is machine wash, gentle cycle with light colors, tumble dry low, remove promptly low iron. Okay, so the reason I went ahead and picked this is normally the first outfit she see. Normally the first outfit suggested to me, I try to get everything in there because that's, you know, in my opinion, I think that would be the one she would want me to pick the most. So I normally try to get everything that's in that outfit. So this she actually had with the ballet flats, um, some travel jeans and a Max Studio sweater. Not that you'd wear them all together, but that's the things that she was suggesting to me. So that's why I picked that one. But like I said, I just, I wasn't seeing a lot of stuff I was in love with. So, um, 
let's keep going. So here is a sweater from The Drop. Now, The Drop is a brand from Amazon. It's supposed to have been designed by influencers. I was not one of those influencers, by the way, and I don't always love the brand. I feel like they cheaped out on the way they made this brand. To me, I find a lot of things I just don't love about it. Now, this is cute. It is a tank top sweater, off-white. It is a cute knit. And I, I mean, I don't see anything I hate about it, but I don't know that I'm going to love the shape of it. Let's see what it says. Women's Claire Double V Neck Textured Rib Sweater Tank in Sandstorm Extra Large, $29.90. It's 100% cotton. It, is, it says machine wash cold with light colors, use gentle cycle, um, dry, flat, reshape re 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 before drying cool iron. <laughs> Okay, yeah, I feel like it would lose its shape. I feel like these are going to stretch out. I feel like they're already stretching out from the weight of the sweater. But it is cute. I don't reach for sweater tanks very much. To me, if I'm going to wear a tank, it's because I'm hot. I don't want a sweater. No, well, that's just me. So these are the travel jeans. Or they're not jeans, I'm sorry. They are a pant. Flatten it. Okay. They supposed to flatten your tummy. These are Travel Women's Flatten It Pull On Ankle Pants in Deep Blue Size 12, $43.08. Oh, Callie, you're not going to jump down there and know you because Bonnie's down there. These would hold the fur. I can hell because when she tried to rub on the clothes a minute ago she didn't even barely touch them and there was fur on them you know these pants don't always work for me because of the way my belly's made i get these little baggy things which way is front this is the front okay the pockets are fake here's this little thing that's supposed to make it are they fake or are they sewn they're sewn the front pockets are sewn shut. That's weird. So you got this little mesh that's supposed to hold your belly in. In no way, form, fashion would that hold my belly in. <laughs> I don't know how they think that's going to help. But there they are. They're the pants. I don't have high hopes for them. They're a soft material. But I think, you know, like I said, they would hold the fur. The shell is 76 rayon, 21 nylon. Uh, machine wash delicate cycle. Cold water with similar colors, do not bleach, line dry, lone iron if needed. This is a Max Studio sweater. Oh dear. I had a loose tie. Waffle knit. Cute. I actually think this is kind of cute. Is that a pocket? It's got pockets. It's got pockets. I like this one. I like this one a lot. I don't always love a tie in the front. Callie loves a tie in the front. <laughs> all right you can't have it though isn't that horrible of me to tease her with the strings and not let her have them elastic here this is actually kind of cute oh my goodness kitty cats y'all driving me crazy pick a spot and quit the arguing they're giving each other evil eyes i i know i, I just know what their eyes look like when they're about to attack each other i have to get between them but gracious these kids y'all these kids gonna drive me crazy Okay, 77 polyester, 20 nylon, 3 spandex. You cannot rub on the clothes. You cannot rub on the clothes. Machine wash cold with like colors. Gentle cycle. Do not bleach. Dry flat. Cool iron on reverse side if needed. I actually kind of dig this one. I hope it's not too wide for me. But it's. I think it's cute. I think it's soft. I love something soft and cozy in the fall. Max uh, Max Studio Women's Waffle Knit V-neck Long Sleeve Pullover Taupe. It's an extra large and it is $25.39. That's a good price. So this one is Nick and Zoe. And it is a blue and white stripey with the hoodie. Very cute. It's got those 
wide cuffs that I normally fold in half. It's soft. You know, I love something with a hoodie. I, I do, especially when I'm going to be at my mom's when it's cold. They're so good for when you take, have to go out at night, walk the dog, things like that. Or if it's just got cold wind outside. Got to protect them ears, y'all. Look at the top where this collar is, and it kind of does this crisscross thing. I think that's cute. Gives it a little bit of a V-neck. This one is in a 2X. So she must have sized up on it because I'm normally extra large. But that's what they're there for. They're supposed to size up in the stuff they think will be too small for us. So I guess I could read you the tags and all the information. I am mindfully made. 53 cotton, 35 viscose, and 12 nylon. Take care and enjoy. Hand wash called separately. Do not bleach. Do not twist or wring. Reshape and lay flat to dry. Cool iron if needed. Love. I like the little touches they put on there. Little leaves and hearts and things like that. Very cute. So, lay it flat to dry. Um, Nick and Zoe women's striped vital hoodie blue multi 2x $39.35 now if you go to switch sizes or colors you know on Amazon sometimes the prices may vary so keep an eye on that just to you know pay attention these are the jag jeans that she said she sent in a dark wash well they look black to me I think she sent them in black <laughs> um they look like a skinny jean. Let's see. Uh, Jag jeans, women's brain high rise skinny pull on jeans and black size twelve forty four dollars and eight cents. I don't think I need another pair of black. I hardly ever wear black. I mean, I do on occasions, but it's just so hard to pull off black when you know you're going to be in the house with three cats. I mean, if I was going to go out or something, I might. But, you know, I'm, I can see stuff on these from where I'm unfolding them. You know, and that's not even from Callie. I can't blame Callie for that. So, I don't know about these. But, we'll try them on and we'll see how it goes. So, what do you think? How do you think Brianna did? Um, do you like what she sent me? Do you like it better when I just pick everything and... We do a try before you buy that doesn't cost the $4.99 and I just pick everything. Do you like those better? I've been trying to do a few more of those and I have something fun in the works right now. My bestie is going to pick the clothes for the try before you buy. And so I will see them because I'll have to go through my account to do them. But she is going to pick everything and then I'm going to try it on. We'll see how my bestie does being my stylist. So I think that'll be fun. Keep an eye out for it on the channel. It probably will be next month. I'm guessing by the time we get everything put together and mailed here. But, you know, if you press that notification bell, you do get an update when I put out new videos. And I've got several collabs coming up, so keep an eye out for those as well. You know, I do giveaways every time I do a collab. So, fun, fun, fun. Lots of fun on the channel. Anyway, I am going to get up and try these clothes on. I will see you back in a second. So here is my outfit for today. I'm wearing these flying monkey funky jeans. I just love them. They're too long for me and I haven't cut them down yet. Well, I've got them tucked under, so I won't be walking on them. This umbry top, I can't remember where I got it. I'm thinking it was Dia and Co. I will write below where I got both of these pieces of clothing from in the description. Uh, my necklace is from Coco and Eden. I love it. It's one of my favorites. These earrings, I think I picked up at Walmart one day when I was just shopping. Uh, my stickers I have on my face, I got from Amazon. So let's look at these clothes. So here is the outfit she's picked for me. Now I'm putting my hands up here because I may put the picture right beside of her and me and tell me if you think it looks the same. <laughs> Um, it's cute. I don't know how I feel about it. I mean, I don't hate it. I don't love it. I feel like I need a belt. That's what I feel like is that I need some sort of belt. It's cute. I don't know that I love the sleeves because when I go stretch out, this catches right here. 
they look a little short. Um, you know, me, most of the time, I probably would wear it like this anyway, just because I pull everything up. It is cute, and I think the shoes do work with it. I don't know. What do we think about this dress? It has the little button in the back. Kind of feel a little big right here. Through here. I don't know. Maybe I just don't have the shoulders for this one. This at least works with the smocking. Let's put a belt on with it and see what happens. I mean, I think it looks cute with my little Walmart belt that I have. It just stretches and buckles in the front. I think that's cute. What do we think? I don't know if the color is just right for it, but I don't know. I can't decide. All right, let's move on to the next thing. All right, so this was the next thing she had with the dress, or actually the, with the same shoes, was these this Max Studio top. Now, I left it pulled straight down because that's how the model was wearing it. Uh, pulled over her pants with the little tie sticking out right there. When I first put it on, I actually had it up and pulled up. I think it could be worn either way, although that is pretty bulky right there. Not too bad. It's just so soft, y'all. I feel like I could pull it down and wear it over leggings and just relax and chill and be warm in it. Yeah, I lose my shape a little bit in it, but I actually am not minding it for some reason with the top. Um, I think it is super cute and soft and fun and comfy. The pants are very comfortable. Very comfortable. They don't give me that you know, bulge the, the little muffin top at all. But where they get me is right here. This is what bothers me about these kind of pants and also kind of sometimes feel like I get the camel toe with them. I know we don't like to talk about that, <laughs> but they are cute. I just don't think I will keep them. They're so soft. They're so comfy soft. It's like wearing a sleep pant, really. You can't see my underwear through them, but the lines, the lines, the lines, the lines. Now I have to put you down so you can see the shoes. So here are the shoes. They're cute. They do move a little bit on my feet, but these straps do hold them in place. So I could get away with these. They do have the toe cleavage like we talked about. Um, I don't always love the toe cleavage. I don't know why. It just it just seems weird to me. But they are cute. I don't know that I'll keep them, but they're cute. Alright, so here are the blowfish shoes. Now, I didn't put a sock on with this one, and I definitely couldn't wear it like that. But I have a thicker sock on with these, and I really like them. I think they're cute. They're a little long looking for me, but they're cute. Let me... Pull these up just so you can see how they come to. I think they're comfortable. I think they're cute. These are a possibility for me. Just a nice, flat, fun kind of rock and roll boot. Like a biker boot. They're cute. I kind of like them. All right, let me pull you up and we'll look at the rest of the outfit. So here's the rest of the outfit. The shirt is not going to work for me in so many different reasons. Um, I think it's cute together. I do like the boots. The jag jeans, I didn't realize they don't button. They're just a pull on. Um, I just don't need them. I do feel like they're going to hold on to every single thing they touch. But they're okay. They're just they're nothing to write home about for me. This top is so big on me and I, I could just see this stretching out even more when I first put it on man you could see every bit of my bra so if it flopped around if I bent over you would definitely be able to see all the way through this one is just not working for me maybe if it was a smaller size but I still think it would just stretch out so let's try on that last top all right so I wasn't sure what to think about this one because she did size up on it but I can see why I mean I, I can see that it's too big, but I feel like that makes it a comfy cozy. And the sleeves that are these double ones 
come just the tiniest bit long. If I fold them back, they're going to be short, which is what I normally do with these shirts. And I mean, I guess you could fold it to the right length, but I don't think that looks as good to me. I don't know. Do y'all fold these kind of sleeves back or does it just depend on the length? So to me, the sleeves are just a, an odd length. I do like it though. Um, and of course it has a hood on it. I like the neckline of it. What do you think? Should I go a size down? Should I keep it the way it is? Should I send it back and not worry with it? I like that the hood isn't super thick, actually. Um, you know, I front tuck every single thing. I think I would wear it like this. It might be a smidge big, but I think I would wear it like this. And you know me, they'd be like this anyway. Uh, I don't know. This is a possibility. Let's do a recap and think on them. Did I show you the back? I don't even remember. Y'all, I'm so out of shape. I am so out of shape. I just tried on one box today. I'm like, oh, it's them hot flashes. Them hot flashes that I shouldn't be getting because I'm not old enough yet. Oh, my gracious. Uh, I've actually had hot flashes since I was a teenager, so I don't know what the deal with that is. I just do. Part of my life. Let's see. Let's see. What do we think of the clothing? Um, I am in debate because there's a few things that I was like, ooh, and there was a few things I was like, ah, uh, you know, should I get a different size? Should I not worry with them? I don't know. Everything is, you know, it's, it's a good price. So uh, there was, I mean, what was the most expensive thing on here? 40 something dollars? Yeah, $44 and eight cents. So good prices. Um, let's just go back through. I'm going to watch the dress back, but more than likely I'll send it back because I'm unsure about the sleeves. And I do think my, I don't know, I, I'm going to watch it back, but that belt probably did match fairly well. Uh, it's hard to tell when you've been staring at the ring light, you kind of lose everything is, you know, it's like when you stare at the sun, you have that blob and you can't see anything. <laughs> and yeah, that's, that's our lives y'all. That is the life of a creator. But I, I, I like it. I don't love the polyester of it. Um, that's kind of the main thing probably is the polyester just doesn't feel like a high quality polyester. I'll leave it at that. I don't think it's badly made by no means, but it's just not my favorite thing. Never has been. I'm more of a cotton girl, but this cotton was not for me either. Um, I just feel like these straps are so thin that they're going to stretch out quickly. I thought it was boxy. It was too big for me. Um, I don't reach for sweater tanks very much. So it's just enough for me. These jeans, I think if I needed a black pair of jeans, I might've thought more about trying to keep them. They were comfortable. They were fine. I just don't need them. That's all it is. Don't need them. And there went something out of the pocket. No, oh, there was a tag. It was just stuck in the pocket. I'll stick it back in the pocket. The ballet shoes, they are cute, but I don't think I would wear them. I just I have to come to the reality that I just don't reach for the ballet shoes. I'd rather put on a boot or a sandal, something like that. So I probably would send these back, but I think they are cute. And if you don't mind the toe cleavage, you probably love them. This did leave little marks on my skin, though, from it being, you know, elastic around your leg. Just keep that in mind if you're sensitive to that kind of thing. These pants were pretty comfortable. Uh, these travel pants. And if I've reached for this stuff more, I might have tried them. But I, right now, I have a few pair of these blue kind of pants. And I never reach for them. They just stay on the hanger. I am such a denim girl. So I'm just, I'm not even going to worry with them. I'm going to send them back. I think we're down yeah we're down to the last three things the last three things i am in debate on i think these were a tea tiny big on me but with the thick sock i felt like they were comfortable and i felt like i could wear them 
around. So these are a good possibility for me. Um, $38. What do y'all think? Did y'all like them? Do you think that they're funky fun or do you think that they're just too biker-esque? Did they look too long on me? All that good stuff. Let me know, please. I'm going to air this one tomorrow. So this is not going to go back before I get y'all's opinion. I want y'all's opinion. I need your help. But I am thinking about these. These are a maybe. This one is also a maybe. Simply, I mean... The unfinished hem, well, it is kind of folded, but it kind of feels like an unfinished hem. It is finished. It just feels so thin that it feels like an unfinished hem around the collar. It was one of the drawbacks to me and the length of the sleeves. I didn't even look to see if the stripes lined up. I know some people are picky about that. It doesn't bother me as much, but, you know, sometimes you want your stripes to line up. I'll watch it back. I'm going to see. I felt like it was a little big on me, but I don't know if I could size down and still be comfortable. So this would be a comfortable, nice little lay around the house, around my mom's house kind of shirt. It's a maybe. And it was, I just need a minute. Oh, that's a nice cool breeze there. $39.50. I don't know. For $39.50, I may let it go. Y'all just let me know if you think I should keep it. So this is the one that I am really thinking about keeping, this Mac Studio one. I, I know it looked a little boxy on, but it was just so cuddly, and it's got pockets, and it's a waffle knit, and $25.39, I will probably keep this for the comfort factor of, you know, I could just throw it on at any point in time, and on top of something if I needed to or wear it as a shirt by itself. I kind of, I like it. I, like I said, I will watch it back and I always want to hear y'all's opinion to let me know what you think of everything, what I should keep, what I shouldn't keep, everything. Write it down below. I love reading y'all's comments, y'all. You have no idea how much I love y'all so very much and how much y'all help me so very much. I hope y'all enjoyed this. Y'all make sure you have a safe but fun spooky time of the month. I hope the rest of your day is wonderful. Thank you so very much for spending part of it with me. Have a wonderful day and God bless.